Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. Turkish Aerospace, Turkey's largest aerospace producer, appears to be in for a spectacular day on May 1. These days, Western Aerospace rarely introduces new aircraft models, but Turkish Aerospace is anticipated to publicly introduce new products, including a new fighter, as well as provide information on improvements to current models. Erdogan's aim to make Turkey a global defense supplier includes developing the country's aviation sector. This program has also increased sales of the T-129 attack helicopter, Herkus light attack aircraft, and armed uncrewed air systems, like those made by Baker and Anka. TFX, the indigenous Turkish combat aircraft, TFX, better known in Turkey as MMU, is arguably the most significant of the programs to be revealed. The fifth-generation twin-engine fighter prototype, which has been under development for more than a decade, began initial engine runs in March and could go to the skies later this year. This aircraft's maximum takeoff weight is approximately 27,215 kilograms, and its two GEF-110 engines have a combined thrust capacity of 76.31 kilonewtons and an afterburner thrust capacity of 131 kilonewtons. The aircraft's top speed is 2,716 kilometers per hour, and its combat range is up to 1,100 kilometers. All the technologies and characteristics seen in fifth-generation airplanes are present in Khan. It will give the chance to strategically strike air-to-air -air and air-to-ground targets. Anka 3. A flying wing jet-powered unmanned combat air vehicle is one of the several systems scheduled for introduction. Anka 3 is thought to be Turkish Aerospace's response to rival Baker Kizilelma. Effort to create an unmanned fighter aircraft that could replace some manned combat aircraft. According to Turkish Vice President, the Anka 3 Yukov, which has a jet engine, is currently being developed and will be released this year. It has the maximum takeoff weight, will be 6,500 kilograms, and that it can carry 1,200 kilograms of payload. Its top speed is 425 knots, and its cruise speed is 250 knots. Kizilelma. The Barakter Kizilelma fighter UAV, which is being entirely developed within Turkish borders, will likely play a significant role ahead, especially in light of the possibility that unmanned technology may dominate air combat in the future. The Kizilelma has a maximum takeoff weight of 6,000 kg, 13,200 pounds, with 1,500 kg of weight available for the payload. According to data shared by the company, the Kizilelma will have an operational altitude of 35,000 feet, 10,670 meters. Herjet Herjet training aircraft made history on April 25 when it completed its maiden flight, marking a significant development for the country's aerospace industry. The Herjet reached a maximum speed of 250 knots and an altitude of 14,000 feet during its 26-minute flight, according to the Turkish news website. A supersonic aircraft, it can travel at a top speed of more than 1.3 Mach. It is a twin-seat trainer aircraft with a single engine that is powered by American General Electric F-404 engines. The Herjet can fly up to 2,600 kilometers and reach heights of 45,000 feet. It is a flexible and capable platform for a variety of tasks because to its modern weaponry, which includes air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and guided bombs. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about Turkish new fighter aircraft in the comments section.